when you have something lost in your house and you want to find it, you have to focus on it. You have to look around and you ask somebody, have you seen where I left my watch or where I left my glasses or where I left my pen? Something, you have to ask, you have to look. In the same way, when you have lost your soul qualities of friendship, of compassion, of love, of generosity, of friendship, you have to look, you have to contemplate, you have to think, you have to meditate on it. Every day you have to say, I want to cultivate more friendship. How can I be more loving? What can I do to be more kind? What can I do to be more compassionate? Every day, like every day, you get hungry. You have breakfast, you have lunch, you have a dinner. You give time for your feeding the body. In the same way, you have to give time to feed and nourish your soul. We don't give any time. We say, people say, I don't have time for meditation. I don't have time for going for a walk. I don't have time to meet friends. I'm too busy with my smartphone and I emails and, and many other things. Relationship with other people and in that humility, say your relationship should be without ego. So you have to put attention to it. You have to contemplate on it. You have to meditate on it. You have to look for it. You have to think about it. You have to ask some other people, how can I cultivate my um, soul qualities? Like going to some retreats, going to some like Schumacher College. You come to Schumacher College for one week a retreat or you go to Findhorn for one week for retreat to take some time for yourself in order to cultivate your soul qualities. How do you cult cultivate soil qualities? How do you cultivate food? If you are a gardener and say, how do I cultivate uh, potatoes and carrots and onions and garlic and sweet corn and asparagus and strawberries and raspberries? You have to go in the garden. You have to have a, a fork. You have to have a spade, you have to have a, um, a seeds, you have to uh, go and find some seeds. You have to pay attention. In the same way, when you want to cultivate soul qualities, you have to pay attention. You read some beautiful poetry, you read some beautiful books, you go and meet some people who are spiritually oriented, who can help you. There are many, many ways. The first step is to pay attention. Be aware. Want to cultivate soul qualities. If you don't want to cultivate soul qualities, you will never do it. But if you want to do it, you will find a way. Like when you want to garden, you learn. You go to a teacher say, how do I plant seeds? How do I make compost? How do I um, uh, um, uh, uh, harvest? Uh, uh, all these are skills and you learn. In the same way, you learn the skill of meditation. You learn the skill of communication. You learn the skills of loving. Loving is a skill we don't teach our children.